Hey y'all, Mattis Modern here. And today we're gonna be looking at Revit 2022 LT on the MacBook Pro M1 chip. So I picked up this MacBook Pro about a week ago. And the first thing I did was go to parallels.com and get Windows on this machine. This is such an easier process than the last video a couple months ago, because um, now it automatically downloads Windows 11. In the past, you had to do Windows 10 with the TPM bypass process. Uh, that was no fun. So don't worry about that. It's going to be easy peasy. One, two, three. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be head to Parallels, sign up for your two-week trial or enter your Parallels key, and then download your Windows, and you'll be running Revit in no time. This is great for Revit users because, as we know, there's still no native Revit app on Mac. Hopefully that will be changing in the next couple of years with ARM becoming so popular. But for now, this is the process and I'll walk you through it. All right, let's get started. All right, team, so you got your new MacBook and you are ready to get Windows on here and get Revit running. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to parallels.com. So you can do this download free trial. There are also the options. I'll go ahead and show you the tiers. So after the two weeks, it's gonna charge you $79.99 a year or 100 for the Pro Edition. The difference is you have eight gigabytes of VRAM or 128 gigabytes. So if you have a larger machine and you're gonna split your 32 gigabytes, 16 for the Mac side and 16 for the Windows side, you're gonna to have to get the Pro. I've been using the eight gigabytes and it's worked out fine for me so far. So my machine is 16 gigs and I'm running eight on the Windows side. So go ahead and download your free trial. And there we go. Just double click on your installer. And double click here. Just hit OK through all the prompts and download. All right, now we have Windows 11 loaded up on the desktop and it's pretty awesome. This whole process takes only four or five minutes. So you have Mac over here, slide over, Windows, genius. Just go through the traditional process of getting online to your Autodesk account and download your Revit 21 or 22. All right, team, so here we are. We have Revit open, and I've gone ahead and opened up three projects. I just wanted to give everyone an idea of how a typical workflow is running. And so let's say you're working between two or three projects, doing copying and paste, uh, pasting some sheets or some families in between one and the other. I have not noticed any problems with that whatsoever. Everything's been running pretty smooth. Also, in terms of 3D views, um, 3D views, shading, and sections, materials, everything has been working just perfectly for me. Normally, I haven't noticed any issues. I have heard some people say online that it's not quite as snappy as running on a Windows machine. Uh, I haven't noticed any issues. I mean, I go here to a sheet plan and opens up very quickly. So I haven't had any, any problems with this. I just wanted to give everyone kind of a general idea of how it's running with a typical workflow. You know, you'll say you want to come over and uh, move some lights. Just copy a few of these. Of course, uh, you won't have this many lights here, but you get the point. Everything's running smooth, smooth and snappy. So you can also have a couple programs running on the Mac side at the same time if you wish. For example, over here, I have a Illustrator file open working on uh, some topography. You can also have InDesign or Photoshop open. You can have a couple applications open over here before your memory pressure starts to get into the red zone. So right now, still in the green, I have three Revit files open and I have Illustrator open. 
So that's a pretty standard workflow. I hope that this works for you guys as well as as well as it has been working for me. And I hope that you enjoy uh, reveting and working on your new MacBook. Uh, you know, they're they're amazing machines. They're light. They're portable. They last forever. Uh, my 2013 MacBook, I used to run Parallels on it all the time. And it lasted me about nine years. Just this year, it started to, uh, the battery and the uh, hard drive started to become unusable. unusable. But you're going to get a good you know, eight to 10 years out of your Mac if you trade it right. So why why do we want to be running <laughs> Revit on Mac? Well, for me, it's it's a lot about the hardware and the longevity and the quality of the machine and the user experience. So it's been working well for me so far. I hope it does for you also. All right, signing out. Mattis Modern here. Peace, y'all. One more thing I wanted to show real quick was how to uninstall Parallels. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons you might just want to get it off your machine as fast as possible. So what you want to do is go over here to your toolbar, hit uh, Actions, and Stop. And you can just go here, right click, and quit. So now that the program is closed, there's no uninstall tool on the parallel side. So what it says to do on the website is to go to your applications folder and just right click move to trash. Gonna enter your password and empty trash. And that's it. You've just deleted a whole virtual machine. So it's very quick and easy to get it off in case you need to do something like free up more space, you decided it's a bad idea, your free trial has run out. It's nothing like the old days of the um, boot camp where you had to go through quite an ordeal to partition your hard drive. All right, y'all, thanks and good luck.